RevKev coming to you in tape delay live situation where I am sitting in the same place where I typically do on Thursday mornings for the uh, pastor on the porch for controversial conventional coffee clutch conversation at 8.30 on Thursday mornings from 8.30 to 9.30 most every Thursday morning here at the Bloom office. Now you might be hearing some noises in the background like the something from the buses over there or <clears throat> I just heard a horn honk or I don't know a jet might take off. That's typical fare for Thursday morning. What you don't have and you've seen some pictures but what you don't have is the circle of you know four, six, eight, twelve folks who show up when they can and some on a very regular basis to have a morning conversation. I've got my coffee cup here and a little table there just to set the scene um, and we typically talk about what is on people's minds. Sometimes on Facebook some of you may see that I post some leading questions and uh, every once in a while on the Thursday morning I read that introduction and see if it sparks some interest but we have you know spoken on a wide range of topics from what does the Bible mean by, about this now it doesn't turn into a Bible Bites thing but somebody's got a very particular kind of uh, question uh, what about in religion does that mean and if I know something um, you know I'll, I'll, uh, I'll say it <laughs> who can stop me but the other thing is that we're a group organization, so there can be, it's a peer organization, meaning other people have, you know, opinions and thoughts and comments, and my job is to facil facilitate that. It's not a, it's, it's, it's it, we, te we teach each other and we learn from each other. And then of course, there's everybody's got uh, at their disposal a cell phone. Uh, we've got the, you know, Terry Lennon Library, Memorial Library in, inside, and we've got a uh, iPad or something like that or a computer inside so we can always look something up. But most of the time it's a sharing of ideas, a sharing of thoughts, and many times people might say something like, I don't know what you think about this, so I just wanted to ask your opinion. Um, <clears throat> and that's what we do. It's always a situation of trust and always a situation of... Uh, uh, helpful. We don't always agree on things, but um, there is a matter of trying to find some aspect of common ground and common understanding and basically saying, what do you think, or what do you think, or what do you think, so that we can figure out uh, something more about what we think. So that's the way it goes on Thursday mornings, and we're out here on the pad, the porch, out in front of the office, and uh, it's typically, um, uh, <clears throat> we've had good weather most of the time, jackets a little bit in the uh, in in the winter uh, but uh, we'll see how it goes in the summer and we can always go inside uh, for air-conditioned comfort if it gets too hot out but we're first thing in the morning so for those of us who live here year-round we might be used to it from 8 30 to 9 30 that is still pretty tolerable to be outside I hope so uh, you can any Thursday morning from 8 30 to 9 30 uh, you're welcome to be here. You can bring your coffee or use the coffee machine we've got inside. Plenty of caffeinated, decaffeinated, half caffeinated or flavored coffees or hot chocolate or tea. Um, and we've uh, got some uh, creamer in the in the refrigerator. Um, got some sugar somewhere. Uh, and uh, that's something where you sometimes people bring their own coffee. Sometimes people go down to the donut store and get a donut and bring it over. Uh, whatever you want to do, um, that's that's good. Bring to the group who you are, and and we will share on that. Um, so I just wanted to have that invitation go out today in particular. This Sunday at Bloom uh, is um, uh, Communion Sunday, and uh, we continue to use the little cups individually. We continue to be masked as being inside a city-owned facility. Um, and we're looking forward to the music of uh, Malcolm Swan, uh, as well as, um, you know, our communion prayers and sharing in that uh, time together. Those of you who are, you know, communing with us uh, uh, online, feel free to prepare and have your own juice and bread available for a time during the worship service. Also, feel free, those of you at home or wherever you are, <clears throat> on the road, or you know what, people were listening to us last week in the car. And so wherever you are, now and for people in the car, don't light a candle. 
but if you're at home and if you're in a hotel room don't light a candle but if you're at home and you want to light a candle when we light a candle as a symbol of christ the light of the world with us uh, feel free to do that as well so that we connect with one another in that sense of community um, as we are uh, experiencing one another's vitality online as well as in the room so we hope you can be with us on sunday if you can't be with us in person uh, as usual, you hope you can be with us online. If that isn't going to work out, we hope that you'll be with us in spirit. And as always, please keep us and your church in your prayers.